Hello and welcome to Hustler Coder channel. Today we are diving into an exciting coding journey where we will solve a common problem and unknowingly walk the path of a famous design pattern, the strategy pattern. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting this video is for you. So let's get started. Our challenge today is to design a flexible payment processing system that can handle multiple methods like credit cards, PayPal, and many more. Here is a small twist in your problem. We need to make it adaptable for future payment processing without rewriting our existing code. Let me repeat our twist part. We need to make it adaptable for future payment methods without rewriting our existing code. Let's start creating classes for different payment method as an example to consider like a credit card and PayPal. So for credit card payment, this, I mean, look at this picture. This class has a single method called process payment, which takes a double amount as a parameter. When process payment is called, it prints a message to the console indicating that a credit card payment is being processed for the specified amount. This class is presumably designed to handle the logic of for processing payments made through a credit card. Another payment method I opted here as PayPal because it is the oldest one. Uh, for Indian context, might be UPI is better choice, but uh, for US and Europe, PayPal is a very old method. So that's why I opted PayPal here. Similar to the credit card payment class, look at this picture. This class also contains a process payment method with a double amount as parameter. The process payment method here prints a message indicating that a PayPal payment is being processed for the given amount. This class can be tailored for handling payment made via PayPal or anything else, right? These are old one. That's why I taken as an example, okay? So once again, again, I'm repeating, if we need to, I mean, opt UPI in India, that would be better choice. So as an improvement, I will do later that I will add one UPI method also as a class to extend this initial implementation, okay? But for now, these two class I'm just considering and I will follow these two class only, okay? Let's move on. Now let's discuss the payment processor class. The payment processor class is designed to handle payment processing based on the specified payment method. It includes private field, which is called payment method. It is a string variable that stores the type of payment method to be used, for example, credit card or PayPal or UPI. Like that. Another method which is here is process payment, right? Takes a double amount as an input. Depending on the value of payment method, it instantiates either a credit card payment or a PayPal payment and, and call their process payment method with the specified amount. This demonstrates basic conditional logic to choose the payment strategy at runtime, right? At method, another method is set payment method, accepts a string argument to set the payment method field. This allows dynamic changing of the payment method used by the payment processor, correct? Overall, this class acts as a central point of processing payment decided with the, I mean, decided uh, as per the, your strategy, as per your the payment choice, and ultimately that would delegate to that particular strategy class, right? Introduce the payment strategy interface. To improve flexibility, we introduce a payment strategy interface. It has one method called process payment with parameter of double amount, double uh, of amount uh, parameter, right? Look at the two implementation class here as an example, credit card payment and PayPal payment. Later, we can also add another uh, implementation class as uh, which, is, which may be UPI payment, but as of now, I am not doing because that is just extension of any other, I like just copy the any other payment implemented class and do a small tweaking here and there, that's it. To integrate the strategy substructure class with the payment processor class, I have to do a small modification or you would say alignment or refactoring as shown in the picture. Compare the two picture here, the left side, which is older one and right side is the new one. Earlier, if you look at uh, this uh, older uh, picture, you will see that every time you need to add one, I mean, additional method, you need to modify the if else condition here in the older class, right? But the new class, you don't require to touch this class because you have a method to register to set the particular uh, payment strategy, that's it. And which whose method is already present in the class, so you no, don't need to touch anything in, anything in payment processor class. And this is a big advantage with the new approach. I hope you can understand this step and this is a biggest advantage. All right, so look at this code. The code defines a flexible payment system that can process payment using different methods like credit card or PayPal. It allows changing the payment method easily without 
altering the main uh, payment processing core. This makes the system adaptable and easy to extend with new payment option. So on comparison, you can see that. Look at these two pictures, right? And compare it, you will see that unknowingly you reached at the spot which is exactly with the standard UML diagram of a strategy pattern. Wow, congratulations. Without realizing it even, you have reached at the spot where you can say that you learn new design pattern which is called a strategy pattern. So I'm just wrapping this video by saying that the strategy pattern offers a brilliant way to maintain flexibility and manage change effortlessly. And once again, congratulations for learning new design pattern which covered or categorized under a structural pattern. It Thank you. Thank you for completing this video. And I hope that you definitely have learned something which will help you in your system design interview. Hope to see you in next video with new concept and skills needed for the system design interview. By then, keep learning, keep improving and keep sharing your knowledge.